Hey, welcome to Technology Paul. If you've been around my channel a while, you might know I did a review of Telus Smart Home Security a couple of years ago. Well, there's a few things that I want to tell you about today. First of all, I'll give you an update on the overall service over the last couple of years. And also, I went through the process of renewing my contract, negotiating my price, and getting a couple new pieces of equipment. So I want to tell you all about that experience. If you live in Canada, Telus Smart Home Security is one of the most widely available and popular options, so I'd say you deserve an honest review. Let's dig in. Let's talk about the deal that you're getting first. If you're a brand new customer coming to Telus, you're going to get the best deal because all of the hardware is included when you sign up for a three or a five year term. Here are the available plans. First off, there's the basic protection plan for $15, which is classified as self-monitoring. What does it come with? A single camera. So let me get this straight. You get a smart camera and that's it for $15 a month. That's a pretty bad deal. Sure, they throw in the camera, but you have to sign a three year term. $15 over three years is $540. And there's no professional monitoring, so I'm not sure what you're paying so much for here. You can pick up a high-end Nest camera for $100 or $200. Even if you get Nest Aware, their unlimited cloud recording, that's just $8 a month. You're still gonna save at least $100 or more over the next three years. So if you're considering the basic protection plan, I would advise against it. Then you have the Smart Automation Plus, which is a bit better of a deal, even if it is double the price. It's $33 per month and you get the camera, but you also get two automation devices. The available automation devices are smart locks, thermostats, smart plugs and bulbs, as well as Amazon Echo devices, which do integrate with Telesis system for voice control. Again, this is a self-monitoring plan. To get professional monitoring, you need to bump up to the $47 plan. Interestingly, with this plan, you don't get the security camera or the automation equipment. You get two door and window sensors and one motion sensor. It's pretty basic, but I suppose it would do if you want to just have sensors on your front and your back door and maybe a motion sensor in your basement or something. So far, all of these plans are okay, but that's that's because TELUS doesn't want you to choose those plans. They want you to choose the Control Plus Video plan, which is of course their most popular and expensive plan. This gives you the security equipment, which is the door sensors, the motion sensor, but you also get three automation devices and a camera. Okay, now we're talking about a decent deal here. As TELUS puts it in their advertising, you can get up to $1,400 worth of equipment included in the plan if you sign up for a three-year term. No wonder this is their most popular plan. Now, the pricing actually does get a bit better if you're a current TELUS customer. If you have home TV or internet or TELUS mobility, you can get up to $15 a month off. But let me give you a little bit of insider advice. I only pay for TELUS home security. I'm not a TELUS customer for anything else. You think I'm paying full price, $60? I don't think so. I was able to renew my contract recently for $50 a month. So if you're gonna renew or even sign up brand new, it doesn't hurt to give them a call to see if they can do anything on the pricing. And I'm glad I got a good deal on the monthly plan because you know what I didn't get? Any new hardware thrown in. Yeah, apparently if you're a brand new customer, they're willing to throw $1,400 worth of equipment at you. But if you're an existing customer looking to re-sign on a three-year term, Sorry, we've got nothing for you. That's kind of disappointing. I wouldn't expect the same level of free stuff as a brand new customer, but as it turns out, loyalty doesn't go very far these days. The equipment hasn't changed a lot over the last three years, but there are some differences in the stuff that I have in my house versus what's available now. This outdoor camera looks like it's been updated from what I have. Maybe it's better. And look at this control panel. It looks a little different. Looks like it has a speaker on the bottom or something. Maybe it's more responsive and faster. I mean, essentially it's a wall-mounted Android tablet, so I'd imagine it's been somewhat updated over the last two or three years. The point is I'm being left behind technologically. I don't get any new stuff thrown in. Sure, they'll allow you to buy new equipment or even finance it over the course of your term, but I don't know, come on, tell us. You couldn't toss in one free piece of equipment for your loyal long-term customers? Anyways, I did end up ordering and paying for two new window sensors, which were $35 each. I added them to my basement windows since those are a potential entry point that are fairly easy to access. So here's my complete TELUS home security setup. In terms of door and window sensors, I have one on our front door, our back door, 
and our garage entrance. And now I have one on each of my two basement windows. We also have two motion sensors, one in the basement and one on the main floor. That's enough sensors to know for sure if someone is getting into our house and moving around while we're away. We also have an outdoor camera mounted to the outside of our garage to see vehicles and people coming up the driveway. Up to the front door, we have a smart keyless entry lock. And finally, in the garage, we have a garage control module, which allows us to control the garage door through the app as well as through the panel which is mounted in the hall once you come in from the garage. Now it goes without saying that yeah it's a security system. You can arm the system and if someone or something trips the sensor you'll have 30 seconds to disarm the system. If you fail to do that a very loud siren will go off from the panel and you'll be getting a call from the monitoring center. You can arm stay, which is for when you're in the house, and you can arm away, which is for when you leave the house. Beyond the basic security features, I like a few more things about this system. First off, I like some of the automation rules. For example, I have this easy keyless entry lock on the front door. If I put my code in to unlock the door, not only does it unlock the door, but it also disarms the security system automatically so that I don't have to run over to the panel as soon as I get in the door. Another one I like is the garage door control unit. Sometimes you wanna access the garage from the outside of your house and you're not in your car. So I can just pull up my phone and open the door. I can also do this from anywhere on earth, which means I could let someone into the garage remotely if I want. And as is often the case, I forget to close the garage door. Now I get an alert on my phone if it's been open for more than 30 minutes, prompting me to close it. I can even use Siri to close the garage door with my voice. With the camera above the garage, I get notifications anytime anyone starts walking up my driveway or if a vehicle pulls up. This is a step ahead of the doorbell camera because you can see people coming up to the house before they start walking up your front path. The app is pretty decent as well. You can do all the actions you can do from the panel on your phone. Arm and disarm, lock and unlock doors, open and close the garage door, as well as view a live feed and previous video clips from the camera. They've even got this cool highlights feature, which basically runs you through all the sensors and clips that were triggered throughout the day. You can also get all of this on the web if you log into Smart Home Online. Online, you can also get the option to edit your automation rules. That's how my front door lock, of course, can turn off my alarm, but you can also set up stuff like this. If the system is armed, automatically close the garage door, in case you forgot. Or when someone crosses this virtual line, start a video recording. You can also manage the users of the system. This is kind of nice because everyone in the household can be a user, even if they don't have the app but they will have their own code. That way you can tell who's coming and going based on the code being used. Plus you could grant a neighbor, friend, or relative access to your house without giving them your code. You can even make it time restricted or temporary access so that they only have access when you allow it. Definitely a great option if you're having someone check on your house while you're away. I could go on, but these are all the main features of TELUS's offering. So let me give you my opinion on whether TELUS Smart Home Security is worth it. In short, the service is pretty good and the pricing is not horrible. TELUS offers a wide array of devices that link into the system, some of which I don't have. Stuff like flood sensors, carbon monoxide and smoke detectors, glass break sensors, and smart light bulbs. And another thing I'll give TELUS credit for is their fairly clear and upfront pricing. I find it pretty hard to compare the TELUS system when I can't find the available pricing for services like Vivint, Fluent, Liberty Security, and the list goes on. All of these sites are call for pricing or request a quote. That's not how consumers work these days. Clear and upfront pricing is a must. The other thing with TELUS is they're a big company, which comes with its own set of headaches, but you also know they have the resources to back up the service. And despite the occasional bug or communication error with my equipment, the service has been pretty reliable. And most importantly, every time I've been too slow to disarm the system, the alarm goes off and I get a call immediately without fail. So for me, the TELUS Smart Home Security gets a passing grade. But hey, I'll let you know how it's going again in a couple of years. What about you? Do you have the TELUS Smart Home Security? What's been your experience with it? Are you a fan? 
Maybe you have another security service. Tell us all about that. I'd love to hear what you have to say in the comments. If you thought the video was interesting, do me a favor and click that like button as it helps more people to find the content. And if you like home automation reviews, there's more where this came from. Click subscribe to catch my next upload. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one.